so much power from Harry Jones. He's pulled up just two meters short. Kevin Kennedy with a catch right there for Harry Jones. If you do half fast it, you're not going to get to the level that you want to get at. For me, it's I want to be able to play at the international level, and half assing things doesn't really help that cause. For us, a normal day in, while we're training here, uh, for any of the sevens guys, we wake up, you're out of the house around seven to breakfast. And we used to actually get breakfast made for us, but now we're, all the boys are making it for each other, which is, uh, which is interesting. And then we go out in as a group. We'll do a mobility session, basically just stretching. And then it's, it's different each day, but today we went out for a speed session. After that, we come back in and then transition into weights. And after that, depending on what day it is, there might be two rugby sessions. If not, then you'd be back in for a bit of a cool down and then physio if you need it. Every time he steps on the field, he's out there to get better. There's a mindset that is, is easy to get away from if you're training every single day. The other day when I went swimming and I had to do my pool fitness, you know, I was by myself. I could have sat there and done nothing if I wanted to, but if you do nothing, then it's going to end up showing on the field and then you're not going to play. You're going to be sitting on the bench or you might not even be able to go on trips or maybe you don't even get carded again. I don't think anyone gets to where they are without their family. You know, I wouldn't be where I am without my family. I wouldn't have started playing rugby if Ben and Charlie didn't play rugby. Uh, we started playing when we were in grade eight and nine. Uh, and same thing with Harry. Harry started when he was in grade eight. Growing up, me watching them do all the things they did and winning games and being the stars on each team they were on made me want to do the same thing. Ben, his older brother, uh, he was the captain of my U19 Canada year in 2006. They're both hard workers and not uh, really focused decade guys. My uncle has one of the red jackets. It's kind of cool. It's a neat thing for, for myself and him to kind of both say that we've got to the same level. These eyes are crying. These eyes, I've seen a lot of love, but they're never gonna see another one like I had with you. These eyes are crying. These eyes, I've seen a lot of love, but they're never gonna see another one like I had with you. Yeah. Oh my God. Harry's a very smart guy. Decision making comes down to him a lot of the time. His brain works a bit different than a guy like myself. Since rugby's been included in the Olympics, professionalism has been a huge thing. So the funding's changed, and uh, as a team, you know, your, your goals completely change. We have the opportunity to, to go further than anyone else before us that has worn the jersey in, in going to the Olympics. Obviously getting 80 minutes in a game is good for my World Cup contention. That performance uh, warranted a selection or a spot on the team for the World Cup. Mum and Dad and Ben and Charlie all came out, which was great. But leading up to the World Cup, I did my AC, I did my shoulder in that game against Fiji. Um, so I missed the first game against Ireland. Try not to think about it too much because, you know, this is why you play rugby for moments like these. Try not to get too emotional when I, when I talk about it, but uh, it does, it does, uh, uh, does hurt thinking about it. A packed Millennium Stadium against Ireland is, you know, a, a game you'll never forget. Just listen to this welcome to Ireland and Canada. And sitting on the sidelines, you know, with my parents and my brothers in the crowd was, you know, pretty frustrating. I was able to get myself healthy for the last three games and get into each of those ones, which was awesome. And to get capped at the World Cup. Got my first uh, World Cup cap and just playing in front of, you know, thousands of people and my family was there too. Um, it's hard to think about all that at the time because you obviously think about just the game. Yeah, it was definitely uh, definitely one of the cooler moments of my life. It's definitely up there with uh, you know, the Pan Am Games gold. 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 The P
times. I mean, the way they won, beating Chile in overtime, beating Americans on the last play of the game, and then with a minute left, pulling ahead of Argentina, it was quite fitting for this, the Canada Sevens team. Is they've deserved uh, something like this for quite a while. Getting around one player, Nathan Hiriyama, over the top to Harry Jones, and Canada will score under the post. I don't believe it. That is an incredible two minutes of rugby. Chile, they here's can... Jones. Admir Cevanovic. Try for Canada, Admir Cevanovic. And Canada are through to the 2015 Pan American gold medal game. These two teams, even this season in the series, Brian, two wins and two losses. And this is Connor Trainer. He will score the first try for Canada, beating two Argentinian defenders. Argentina still leading 19 to 12. Here's Duke. Chip kick coming from Harry Ammon. The chase is on. Landing perfectly in the hands of Harry Jones. Held up just two meters short. Can he, can he get it down? Try time for Harry Jones. An incredible, incredible try from Jones. Gold was one of the best experiences of my entire life. A select few that you know get a win a Pan Am Gold with love and other of their really good friends, and consider myself very lucky to be able to to have had that and still have that feeling. A home tournament Pan Am Games is you know it doesn't really get any better than that, other than what's up next, which is the Olympics uh, down in Rio. But the Olympics is the, the biggest thing that you can do as an athlete. It's you know it's the pinnacle of anyone's athletic career. And for me, it just solidifies the fact that I need to commit myself that much more, uh, do every little thing that I can to help the team get to, get to the Olympics and then medal at the Olympics as well. With sevens, you know anything can happen. We know we can win every single game that we play. It's just it's just a matter of fact.